on to the last topic. Here we go. Baker Mayfield, Cleveland Browns. I guess Baker doesn't deserve his own headline because they have Deshaun Watson now. Sorry, brother. But Deshaun Watson, who knows what's going to happen to him, right? But the Browns went 8-9 and nine last season. The Browns are always the, that team that has one of the most loaded rosters in the NFL. Every but season. But they don't make a run outside of 2020 when Baker brought them their first playoff success that they've had in a very, very long time. Yeah, Shout out Baker Mayfield. Already. But I want to ask you guys, what are your expectations for the Browns? And this is a two-part question. If Deshaun is able to play at some point this season – versus if maybe he doesn't and do you think baker should now play for this team that threw him away like he was a piece of trash there's a a situation where if i had the time i could have made three separate schedule breakdowns for the six game suspension the eight game suspension the full season suspension but i wasn't trying to do all that i i went in the middle ground i said he's getting suspended eight games that's what i'm going to try and do and do my breakdown for i did the same um but For your question about Baker Mayfield and if Deshaun Watson is going to be suspended, should he play? If I'm Baker Mayfield, I'm taking this opportunity as a tryout to be a starting quarterback on another team. I'm trying to maximize my stock, play as well as I can for teams to want to come bring me in. And also, I guess if I'm if I'm Baker, I I don't want the Browns to benefit off of me and, and trade me and get any type of value because it seems as if they've made their decision. They're moving off of Baker. And so I understand from that perspective, but if I'm Baker, I want to try and put myself in the best position possible to be a top candidate for one of these franchises' uh, starting quarterback slot. Uh, I believe that he should do that. And I I think that, do I believe that he will? The way that this is going right now, I don't believe so. Most likely, uh, Brissett is going to be their starting quarterback, which is pretty scary to me. But... I'm I'm optimistic and I'm hopeful that Baker does seize this opportunity because it could mean the difference between him, him being a backup quarterback for a while or potentially having a starting gig next season. So for the Browns breakdown this season, it, again, I have them suspending Deshaun Watson for the first eight games in my in my breakdown. So I have them losing the first three weeks to Carolina, to the Jets, to Pittsburgh. I have them beating Atlanta in Atlanta. I have them losing to the Chargers, losing to New England, losing to Baltimore, but beating Cincinnati. It's a division game, I understand. What's your Kobe Brissett? No, but I have them in. This is in Cleveland. I know. In the division game, yes. I, I'm giving them this one. Okay. Um, <laughs> By week. It's crazy, yes, but it's a division game. Anything can happen. I'm right. just I, Cincinnati had to lose a game, mm-hmm. um, and I don't think that they'll go 2-0 and against them. Um, I have them at Miami losing. I have them winning in Buffalo. This is with Deshaun. I had this in my original um, breakdown when we did the you AFC have them losing against Miami, winning against Buffalo. Correct. That's just because Deshaun first came back a little Correct. rusty. Correct, absolutely. And it's at Miami as well. It's at Buffalo as well. I understand that, but also you got to get going. you got to get a win if you're Deshaun. Definitely. This is a, it's a huge they're game, like, especially like against Josh Allen. Five at this exactly. Point, they're, they're, it, they're in a very tough position, but this is where I have them getting going. They beat Tampa Bay Oof. in home. Yes, I know. At Houston, they win. They lose at Cincinnati. They beat Baltimore at home. They beat New Orleans at home. They beat Washington away. They lose to Pittsburgh for the last game. I have them going 8-9. and nine. Okay. I have some different wins and losses, but ultimately we're around the same record. Um, in terms of Baker, I'm actually curious to hear what you have to say because we had this debate a couple months ago and we got into a huge argument over Baker's maturity issues. We were looking up articles from like 2020 about when he was calling out training staffs and Odell and everything. It's just weird to me that Marcus Mariota got a job before him. Drew Locke slash Geno Smith have a job already. Sam Darnold kind of kept his job. And Baker's out here just kind of in this quarterback purgatory where I don't think he's going to play for the Browns. I think he's over it. I don't think anyone on the Browns sees him as the quarterback anymore. And I don't think he sees himself as the quarterback for the Browns. So they're kind of a grain to part ways, not really amicably either. They kind of went off on a bad foot with Baker putting out that um, article, whatever it was, that, that no section in his phone, more or less. Um, so I don't think he's going to play for them. Should he play? He makes the, the last time we saw Baker, he wasn't great, right? He was injured. He had a hundred, he was dealing with a hundred injuries last season. Um, so I think there's a chance or, you know, he should give himself the opportunity to go out and start there because when he's healthy and he has the offensive line, the running backs, Amari Cooper. Now he has shown to be a pretty good quarterback, right? At least above average. He took him to the playoffs, their first playoff win. And God knows how long, as you mentioned. So Baker has a chance to go in there and show that he could play. I think 
especially those teams I mentioned, like the Falcons and the Seahawks and the Panthers, like Baker is a clear upgrade over all of these guys. The issue that I think that teams have, one is the salaries do $18 million. I know the report came out that the Panthers only wanted to pay five, six million of it. They want Cleveland to eat it. And I think Cleveland ultimately will have to eat some of his salary. But I think the second issue is people look at the maturity issue. I think people look at Baker and, you know, one of the reasons why it didn't work out great in Cleveland was he probably didn't live up to number one overall in terms of production, but also being a leader for the team. You know, there was issues that we've gone back and forth over. Some some say it's a maturity issue. You disagree, but agree to disagree. So I think the NFL is telling us all we have to know about Baker. No one is clamoring to go and get him. You know, no one's trading a third round pick to get Matt Ryan like the Indianapolis Colts did. So I think Deshaun gets suspended. I used to say minimum of six. I'm feeling more of a minimum of eight now, and it might be longer. I mean, there there was a crazy report out there about his lawyer saying some ridiculous stuff about it's not a crime to make people feel uncomfortable, just really out-of-pocket stuff that I think the NFL is going to look very closely he into. He said it's not a crime to get to the happy ending. He basically, yeah. he basically said it's not a crime to make people feel uncomfortable. That's insane. And that is a very hot take. He also said it's not a crime for you to go into – a masseuse and gets sexual stuff done to you. That's what he basically said. Depends I mean, you didn't asking. Robert Kraft get in yeah. trouble for that? I, I think if you pay for it, I'm, I don't know. We're not lawyers. Um, regardless though, the stuff that his lawyer was saying was not something I want my lawyer to be saying. That's for sure. Absolutely I think, not. I, I think there's a greater than 50% chance he gets suspended for the full year, which is honestly. why I, I never thought about a full season until yeah. these recent reports. Honest to God, I have him going eight and nine. I did this under the expectation he suspended eight games, but this eight and nine could very easily turn to, or sorry, I have them nine and eight. Um, it could very easily turn to five and twelve if Deshaun doesn't play four and thirteen. Like you have your Kobe Brissett versus Sean Watson, that changes everything with already a pretty weak wide receiver room outside of Amari Cooper. You can rely heavily on the run game there as well. So I have them going nine and eight. That's assuming Deshaun gets suspended eight games, but I'm lower on the on Cleveland just because I don't know what's going to happen with him this year. Baker should play. That's it. Yeah, if if Deshaun is not good to go, Baker should play so he can prove to the team and to the city and the fans that I'm the quarterback you should want. I'm the guy. Because I'm going to lead this team to the playoffs. You're not even going to remember who Deshaun Watson is. $230 million guaranteed. Baker Mayfield's here. No, you're right. And the Browns have handicapped themselves Bad. Um, for the future. Deshaun Watson, his future's up in the air. Amari Cooper, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, Chase Winovich, he's okay. Those are just some additions they had. They signed Ajoku to this massive contract. It's really like two years, $24 million. There's not as much guaranteed money on it that the the face value of the contract would have you suggest. Najoku to me, is somebody who can really break out this season. He has physical tools. Last year as tight end, two, he had 475 yards, five touchdowns. I think he can touch 800 yards receiving, especially if Deshaun Watson is now the quarterback. But the bottom line is that with Deshaun Watson, with no Deshaun Watson, I feel about Cleveland very similarly. I mean, Deshaun Watson is a guy that when he was with Houston had prime DeAndre Hopkins, had prime J.J. Watt. They always got eliminated in the playoffs. He didn't have any playoff success outside of that one time where he beat Buffalo escaped this the sack that was a magical moment but the Browns this year I feel like their wide receiver room isn't very strong their offensive line is a a strong point the running backs the best running back tandem in the NFL their secondary last year was fifth against the pass so they have it there there they have a lot of talent on this roster I'm not the biggest believer in Kevin Stefanski and I'm not the biggest believer that Deshaun Watson is just going to figure out how to be a top five quarterback again once he steps onto the field. Like Chris Sims said when I was watching this podcast earlier, there are quarterbacks like Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, elite-level quarterbacks. They miss a game or two. It takes them a while to come back from that. Deshaun Watson is missing a year and a half. It's going to take him a while to be back to that elite level. Deshaun Watson. How long is a while? I say four, four weeks, four or five weeks. I say four or five weeks. And I, based on what I saw on the OT, OTA's footage, the hell cares, bro? this guy looks like somebody completely different. Bro. I mean, he was Dude, eyeing, eyeing June. his receiver. Josh, John Johnson just picked it off like it's, it's it was June nothing. June in t-shirts and shorts. I understand Relax. that. Not only am I not high on the Browns now, I'm not high on them in the future. 
because they're dishing out massive contracts left and right. They're not going to have anything to really build around Deshaun if everything goes well with you know what he's currently dealing with. I'm not the biggest fan. And Jacoby Brissett, 14 and 23 as a starter, really, you know what he is, what is he going to bring? Not ideal. But that being said, like, Deshaun Watson in 2019 won, in 2020, won four games with the Texans. This past year, the Texans won four games without Deshaun Watson. Did he really, he made the games closer, but he didn't add wins. So with Deshaun Watson, considering he plays like at the week six, week eight, I have him going nine and eight. Without Deshaun Watson, seven and ten, eight and nine. It's going to be around the same ballpark. This Browns team is a team that they can win with mediocre quarterback play because they have everything they, that you can have. They have the foundation. It's the reason why they got Deshaun is because they needed a guy to take them over the top. But due to his suspension, that's not going to happen this year. And I don't know when it happens as long as he's in a division with Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow is going to have this thing on lock for a while. So what do you think about, um, real quick before we get out of here, since this is our last topic, what do you make of this? All of these other guys getting shots to be a starting quarterback and Baker Mayfield is just Baker Mayfield right now. Just out. I feel doing nothing. I feel like before you say something, cause obviously this is targeted towards you. Um, his fifth year being a, a, uh, the, I, that the money is going to be a huge part of it. Truthfully. Um, he gets traded. He's going to want his money regardless of where he goes. But you don't and have I to think pay him. he understands. How much is he getting right now? 20? 18. 18. Look, your question has an easy answer. We could go down a list of the teams. The Atlanta Falcons. Well, for one, they were into Deshaun Watson sweepstakes. Marcus Mariota has familiarity with Arthur Smith, and they are a team that's not willing to take on extra salary. They already have massive Dead cap hits. They're trying to lose. So that, exactly. And Baker Mayfield doesn't help you if you're trying to lose because he's actually a good quarterback. Um, Seattle Seattle's a team that it could happen still, but they I said think... said if he was cut, they'd sign him. Exactly, which means they don't want to take on a salary. It's the 18 million, well, whatever it is. It's not only the money, but it's also the assets you have to give up with the money. You're give, a, the Browns would take a six-round pick yesterday if you could. If a team takes on salary, yeah, you think six? They want him off the roster, I think, bro. Six, I think six is crazy. I think the reason why he hasn't got a trade is because the Browns are trying to trade him for a first, probably for oh, hell more. No. I think he's at least a third. I mean, dude, we're talking about a starting quarterback in the NFL. You think the you think the what Browns, did, if they got a third round pick right now, they wouldn't what jump did, on what it? What did Darn, Donald was nowhere near the level that Baker reached? No, he wasn't. Okay, I, it's, it was a different you're situation a good we point. have going on here. But if you're a team, are you giving up a third round pick to Baker when no, you when you know that he can? eventually just get released but are the browns gonna release him probably not well that's the answer to your question the reason why it's not that baker hasn't got an opportunity not because he's not good 18 million dollars for a quarterback is insanely cheap it's because teams are not okay also it's cheap but when you can still get that at a cheaper price tag what quarterback baker's up for extension too though no him i know you can get him but if you wait and you're patient you can get him for a cheaper price you're also bidding against other teams of course you know, you trade that fifth round pick. I don't. You're not getting a first round pick for Baker. No way, no how. No, no way. No, no. I, I know. But if you're a team, you're not giving up a third round pick for Baker. No, but I think I just don't think they're getting offers. Period. One because of the salary, but it's like 18 million dollars for a quarterback who you think is pretty damn good. I mean, I think he's also above average. a quarterback. You have to extend. You don't know if you trade if you trade a fifth round pick. You have no obligation to extend him. You give him a fifth round pick if he plays well. Extend him if you don't. See no, I'm saying if he plays well, you have to extend him. So it's not just the 18 you mil. You can franchise him. You can. You're still paying him money, though. No, and that's guaranteed money. Yeah. I mean, you, if you extend him, you're giving guaranteed money. Not all of it. Okay, but the franchise tag is one year. So you're, the first year of that contract extension is going to be guaranteed, regardless. But the franchise tag is significantly higher than what you would what would you be, what you would be no, paying I know. if you extend. I know, but that franchise tag, it gives like you an Baker, extra year Like flexibility. Baker's franchise tag could be 30, 30 million. million. Yeah. yeah. But it gives you an extra year to see what Baker is. I mean, I understand what you're saying, but the reason why he hasn't gotten a job is because teams aren't willing to take on a salary and they're not willing to give up a valuable asset to get him. I think it's the salary and the maturity issues off the field type stuff. Yeah, but what do he's I know? better than what you think, though. I think he's an average and could play above average at times quarterback. <laughs> he's better than Mark Sanchez. 